It's hello from Edinburgh. Yes, I'm here at the Orium. And at the John Bysden Arena. For Harry Watt University versus Whitehall Welfare at a King Cup semi final. We've got a chance of another final. And of course, you tasted the final. Unfortunately, uh, you got beaten that one. But yeah. but this is another opportunity. You've tasted one, so you'll be wanting another go at a final, eh? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think, first and foremost, I have to commend the boys um, for getting into another final. We actually got into a final on a Wednesday as well, Yeah. Um, which we won against Stirling Uni. But I think the opportunity to get into another final, it's a good thing for the club. Yeah. It, it builds profile. It builds momentum for the guys for the end of the season as well. So, yeah, we're just delighted um, that we've got a chance to get into one. But it's going to be a difficult game. That's right, because there's not much between the teams. Uh, you're both in the same league, so you know each other well. So there's not a lot between the teams, and really it's anybody's game, eh? No, absolutely. I think you're you're absolutely spot on. Um, we've played each other twice now. Both games have been very, very difficult. Um, Jack always has his team set up well. Um, the boys know each other, the team. They know the style of play. I believe that it's the team that really focuses on every phase of the game from the first to the 90th minute I'll win today's game OK, yeah. thanks very much and I'm looking forward to a, a good game of football Brilliant Nori, always great to have you here and yeah, hope it's a good game I understand this will be the first chance to be in a final since 2016 Aye, well you just told me that I know I wasn't obviously aware of that I suppose Whitehall over the years hasn't had much uh, much success so great opportunity really good opportunity to get, get to that first uh, final in a long time and then obviously a great opportunity to get a few bits of silverware. To prepare any different, you're well aware of the team, you're both in the same league, aren't yeah. you? So well, is it any different? We've played them twice before, I mean, Harriet Watt up here uh, on the Orium are a different team, a yeah. completely different team altogether. They use the park really well, they pass the ball well, they're well drilled. You know, so we're under no illusions, it's going to be a really difficult game today. Um, but as you said, we've played them a few times, I think they beat us up here, we beat them at aye, ours. Aye. There was another game that actually got abandoned after 89 minutes, so we played a need enough for another game with them. I think it was level at that point before it got abandoned. Um, but we obviously beat them at, the, at home, you know, but again, it was a tight game. Yeah. It'll be a tight game again today, um, or a tough game even, but yeah, it's, it's one that we're confident. Um, we know what we've got in the change room, we, we know what the boys have got. We just need to go and play our game, but also use the pitch as well as we possibly can. Thanks very much. No worries. I've been busy with actually the, the, the big team and the under 20s as well. I look after yeah. both, club, both teams. So I'm getting busy. How long have you been uh, a physio for? 30 years. Amazing. Is that different clubs? Uh, yes, I was up at Ars Rangers for 20 years. We right. were back in 86. Right. Uh, I joined Dal Keith. I was uh, the physio for Dal Keith. Then I was the actual chairman for three and a half years. Right. And I left there and went to Whitehall right. and uh, I was here for a good few years but uh, I didn't get only one or two people so <laughs> I decided enough's enough so I left then I was enticed to, uh, have to go up to Pennycook right. so I was here with a guy called Craig Miko, a lovely guy, first class guy, manager and uh, he packed up and then I packed up because he came along there then I went uh, back to Arson for a spell with Jock Landos. Oh, yeah. Big Jock Landos, lovely guy. Then uh, that was it, back to Whitehall. No, I went to East Houses. East, East Houses. Houses. And then uh, Whitehall back on the phone to me. Come back up here. Uh, I, I didn't even have to say yes or no, it was just, I'll be there when you want me to start. Yeah, if you enjoy yourself at Whitehall, yeah. Yes, yeah, definitely. And, and uh, the manager, as far as I'm concerned, and I can definitely see this. Um, I don't mean any disrespect to any other manager in the league. But the best manager I've been involved with, with the 30 years that I've been involved with the club, is definitely Jack Lynch. That's good to hear, thanks very much. Lynch, fantastic man. Brilliant. Gives his stuff. That's good. Fine margins a day. There was a spell there where you could have gone 2 1 up mm -hmm. and just gift the post, uh, just the wrong side of the post, eh? And they went up and scored to make it 2 1 for them. And these are the sort of fine margins in that sort of game today. No, definitely, definitely. As you said, it's uh, a few things went against us at kind of crucial times today. Obviously, that that one there that Leno's hit the post. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Leno's hit the post, and then obviously, as you say, the Flintry broke up and, and scored it and went 2 1 up. Um, 
even the goal they scored just on the brink at half time, we all went in 1-0. I know. They've scored literally on the brink 10 seconds before oh, I was. before the end of the first half. It's just wee things like that. You know, they scored, they scored at really good times um, and we conceded it obviously um, really poor times or really unfortunate times you could say. But as you say, aye, there was fine margins in the game. I thought that 4-2 is overall probably not a fair reflection on the, no. the game. It was probably it was tighter than that. I thought either team could have won the game. Yeah. Um, I thought we probably had more clear-cut chances in them. Um, but aye, that's football, eh? you have to take the chances. That's right, I think, I think <laughs> to be fair, the, uh, the goal had a few good saves as well. So, I, I mean, it, it, you know, it was, it was down to just these... It did, it did. And, that, and that's the thing, the, their keeper pulled off a couple of really, really good saves at good times. Um, and, and that's it, and, that, and that's the thing, it's, it's the fine margins and, you know, they, they've, they've obviously kind of scored at good times and the keeper's pulled them out the, the shit a couple of times you can edit that we bit if you like <laughs> but um, at good times as well but aye yeah. listen that's the head it what I've said to you before the game head it what up here at the Orium with a, a difficult team to play against yeah. well drilled they used the pitch really well so we were under no illusions it was, it was going to be difficult today I mean we finished the game with the three in the middle that actually don't even play midfield we had three midfielders out today that normally yeah. would probably be in the starting 11 um, and we had another few guys out as well I'm sure they had a few guys out as well but yeah. Semi-finals, you want a full squad available. Unfortunately, unfortunately for us, the story of our season, you know, we've been unlucky. We've been hampered with injuries, and again, uh, I think that the guys we were, the guys we were missing, we could have done with. We could have done with. Yeah. Well, I mean, the guys fought hard today, and I, I mean, I thought I enjoyed it, even though uh, you got beat. I thought you fought hard, yeah. and you deserve maybe something from the game, but that's football. That's the thing. You know, that, that, that that's the thing. We they can't they can't fault the boys' effort. They worked no. hard and. And that's football, eh? and that's it. All the best ahead at one final, eh? <laughs> Barney, another hat trick, well done, Cheers. and another final as well. Right. And what was crucial about it, they nearly went 2 1 up there, and you, a quick attack, and you scored that one to make it 2 1 to yourselves. Aye. So that was a crucial part of the game, wasn't it? Aye, yeah. Um, now there was spells where we had possession, we didn't, but um, I mean, we're not, we're not really known for taking our chances, but today uh well we scored four so taking our chances when we need them uh that was actually straight from the training ground so right. you know uh, thank you thanks to bj coyer like it's like you know we're doing cutbacks and stuff like that so yeah no, just, we're working on it we're trying to trying to improve and another final to look forward to because i think you're a bit lucky in the last final there the alec jack uh, final uh, this is uh, another one so yeah. So yeah. something again you look forward to? No, 100%. Uh, I mean, like, the boys are all buzzing, like, in the team talk afterwards, all talking how, you know, three cup finals in one season, we've had Alex Jack, QPS, and now this. So it's, a, it's something to look forward to, you know what I mean? Just uh, a couple, a lot of the boys will be leaving this season, so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this will no, be their last chance, off. maybe, to, mm. to, 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 uh, to do something. Well, I, I mean, you won in yeah. university. So tell me about the other final, was it university final, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we won that on, a, it's called the QPS, uh, Queen's Park Shield, we won that on a Wednesday. So, so we're 50, we've got a 50% ratio uh, winning cup final, so we're looking to improve that. Okay, well done, Barney. Cheers. Thank Cheers you very now. much. Uh, I'm Craig Smith, the club captain of the Heriot University. That's right, you were injured today, but I saw you in the touchline there, uh, you were still helping out, weren't you? Yeah, I was kind of just helping out, helping uh, the gaffers kind of by himself, he's, he's having to do all things himself, so he's kind of assistant manager, stroke physio, stroke water boy, <laughs> just kind of helping out with whatever I could today, I That's right, but that's part of the setup here, eh? you're just part of the team, even although you, you, you weren't playing, you weren't available, you were still part of the team, and that's a part of the team spirit, eh? I know, I think we've got a good, really good environment here, something we've kind of built, the gaffers built over the last three, four years that I've been in the club, um, it's just the kind of environment and spirit we have, so when boys are injured or they can't play then they always show up, help with the team, just do whatever they can and thankfully managed to get the get the win today. <laughs> and another final, do you think you'll be fit for that? Eh, uh, hopefully, uh, we don't know when the date is, the date's going to be yet, so hopefully if it's in if, in if if it's in about a month's time I should be should be fit by then and chance for a, another cup final as you said, which will be, be a good game I'm sure. <laughs> That's right, and you'll be looking forward to that if you are fit, because that'll be another chance, I mean I saw you in uh, the other final, uh, the Alec Jack Cup, we were a bit yeah. lucky 
to be in, but you've already had a, another final there. Eh? University one, was it? Yeah. Yeah, hey, so obviously we lost to Bonnes, unluckily, again in the last yeah. minute in the Alex Jack Cup final, and then the, the uni team had the Cup final against them, still in uni, the Queen's Park Shield final, yeah. which we managed to win that 2 0. So, third Cup final of the year, and we're hoping, hoping for a second win. We, we won the King Cup a couple of years ago um, at Whitburn against um, Livingston United, so hopefully another day out and another good chance to win a cup. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you, Norwich. Cheers. Cheers.